This video is for anyone out there who's running GarageBand or Logic and who has come up against some weird little buggy problem that you cannot figure out. You might be deleting channels, you might be closing other applications, you might be going onto Google and searching for answers and not finding any. Well, this is actually the one source I can tell you I know how to fix that bug. There's one thing that does fix it all, okay? So, I wanna tell you, all you gotta do is delete GarageBand or Logic and then reinstall it. However, it is absolutely imperative that you check the versions that you have. So basically, if you're not using the most up-to-date version, like from the Big Sur operating system, which is the most current one right now, if you're not running Big Sur, if you're running Catalina or something previous to that, you will not be able to get it back from the App Store. However, fingers crossed, you people also have backup drives, okay? So if you're running a backup drive, you can reinstall GarageBand or Logic or whatever application, because this works for a lot of things. You can reinstall it from your backup drive. My advice is to go back, you know, a few days at least before the bug presented itself and then just reinstall from there. If you are using the most up-to-date version, if you're on Big Sur and you're running the most up-to-date version of GarageBand or Logic, then yeah, you can delete it and then go ahead and reinstall it directly from the App Store. And usually nine out of 10 times, your problems will be solved. If this is like a buggy problem inside the computer program itself, then yeah, deleting it and reinstalling it will work. Now, at the end, I wanna add a little bit of anecdotal research that I've done <laughs> myself. So I'm still actually running Catalina on my Mac for all of the third-party plugin reasons. There are still a few that I'm waiting for. Um, anyway, one of the things I did realize a couple of weeks ago, I had this problem and I deleted GarageBand and I reinstalled it from my backup drive. I guess I'd actually gone too far back into my backup drive and uh, reinstalled a sort of a slightly older version of the older version, if you know what I mean, right? So it wasn't the last version that was available under the Catalina operating system. I kind of didn't even realize it. I opened GarageBand, it was working totally fine and everything seemed totally good to me. Then later I went and opened up a program called Clean My Mac, which I totally love and recommend. Anybody who wants to keep their Mac running smoothly, use Clean My Mac, it's really a fabulous program. Uh, but what it did for me, it actually told me, and I didn't even know, it said, hey, your version of GarageBand is not completely up to date. There are some updates available for it. And I was like, hmm, this is interesting. I wonder if it's gonna, you know, pull in like the big Sur version and then totally screw me up. So anyway, I hit yes and I said, hey, let's see what happens. It actually updated my older version of GarageBand into the last version that was available under the Catalina operating system. I thought that was really interesting. Um, like I said, this is my own anecdotal research here, but that happened to me and I just thought it was worth sharing. So if you do happen to pull an older version of GarageBand off of your backup drive, you can get the updates if you have this thing called Clean My Mac. It worked for me, so I figured I'd share it with you. Um, but basically, that's the whole video, you guys. Uh, I just wanted to you know, help you guys out there because I know what it's like when the thing gets buggy and it's awful, 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 awful. So that's it, delete it, reinstall it, either from the App Store or your backup. Make sure you're you know, just getting the right versions, running the operating systems that you need to run, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have your own suggestions on how you've worked out your own bugs, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this video. Um, always hit that subscribe button and the like button and all those things. And I do have a Patreon page if you'd like to support the channel a little bit more than you know just watching the videos or if you just wanna watch them, totally fine with me. Uh, but yeah, hit that subscribe button because I'm really getting close to 100,000 subscribers and I'm very excited about that because I've been doing this for 11 years and I still haven't hit it. <laughs> It happens, I'm not, you know, I'm just climbing the mountain a little slower than most people. So um, that's it, hit the button because I wanna get that 100,000 subscriber plaque behind me on the wall here. I'm working, working on it. Longest running channel on YouTube dedicated to home recording. That's it, right here, that's me. That's this channel, this, this house, okay? So you guys, uh, thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace and love.